Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. We are now on this last game of this March 11, 2022 NBA game day. We got uh, Washington Wizards uh, with a record of 29 and 35 visiting Crypto.com Arena and the Los Angeles Lakers who got a record of 28 and 37. Mm, their records are almost the same. Um, the game will be at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 11.30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Someone just texted me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just forget about it. Uh, Alright, so let's take a look at the uh, standings first. Um, for these two teams Okay, let's start with Washington Wizards. They are at number 11 in the East uh, Their last 10 games they have only won four games and they are actually having a loss approaching this game. So uh, That's how it is for Washington Wizards for Los Angeles Lakers. They are at number nine in the West Man, this is crazy last 10 games. They have only won a couple of games Approaching this game for the Lakers. They have lost back-to-back Hmm. Well, Los Angeles Lakers, they actually have the home court advantage on this. And we can just skip uh, the fatigue factor talk because, you know, both teams had their rest yesterday. Um, and in terms of momentum, man, uh, both teams have been losing. So let's uh, check on the injury list for both teams. For LA Lakers, we got Anthony Davis and Kendrick Nunn confirmed out for this game. Uh, Malik Monk is listed as probable for this game. And then LeBron James and THT both tagged as questionable. So, right, so two players confirmed out, possibly five, depending on the statuses of those other three. And let's go to Washington Wizards. Well, uh, for Washington, they have actually improved because I can only see one uh, name in here, and that's actually Brad DeBeal, who we all know will not be able to rejoin them for the rest of the season. All right, and I'm looking at the uh, spread. Uh, it started with minus 5 for the Los Angeles Lakers, or the home team. But uh, as we speak, it is now at minus 4. Okay, so we have two teams right now. Um, for Washington Wizards, they are at number 11 in the in the East. They have a chance to make it to the playoffs if they would really make a hard push. Especially now they got KP. Stops Porzingis, especially now that uh, they are healthier. Because again, when I check uh, the um, the injury list, they only have Bradley Beal there. So they have a lot of you know a lot of artillery out there. They have a lot of av available uh, players you know that they may use um, for whatever situation you know there there you know there may be. Um, for Los Angeles Lakers, I know they are at number nine, um, but man, the form that they have is just too bad. Uh, out of their last games, they have just won two games. Now, considering that you got LeBron James and considering that you got Westbrook, you got uh, Dwight Howard as your, uh, you know, as your center, that's just unexplainable, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's that's all I can, you know, that's all I can say right now. Um, so I'm not going to put my money on Los Angeles Lakers, especially... Uh, they're going up against Washington Wizards uh, who are having some sort of urgency to make it to the playoffs. And again, man, did you watch the Lakers' last game? They went up against Houston Rockets, man. The banged up Houston Rockets, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and they actually lost. They lost in OT. No more clutch for the Lakers, man. So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, anytime the Lakers can beat any team, and I mean that. It's just that you just don't know when, they'll, when will that happen, so... I just don't want to risk uh, any any cash anymore for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm you know siding over to their opponent uh, at least you know uh, for this week or you know for for the other until such time that their form would actually change and improve. So my pick on this would be Washington Wizards minus was it 4.5 or 5.5 something? Yeah, minus four. Uh, plus four, rather, so because we're siding with Washington. So, again, it's Washington Wizards plus four. Washington plus four. Peace out. Pass love and...
God bless.